Today's episode, we will be talking about the Delta variant. But before that, let me introduce myself. This is Nurse Jane, based in the Philippines. And if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And tap the notification bell so that you will be notified in my next videos. I just want to ask this question. Are we too careless or too cautious? I think we are both. Because people are extraordinary bad in understanding the risk. That's why we find surges in the Philippines and in the other countries and all over the world. Now, if we overestimate the risk, then we are killing our economy. And that is true. And if we underestimate the risk, then we will lose more lives. Now, the world worry about the new strain, the Delta variant. The Delta variant is a highly contagious SARS-CoV-2 strain. And some will call it as a whole new virus because of its high transmissibility than any other strain. Now, the CDC described it as more transmissible than the common cold and influenza, as well as the virus that causes Ebola, smallpox, MERS, and SARS. Now, the WHO, or the World Health Organization, described the Delta variant as the fastest and the fittest. Why? Because of its high transmissibility that one infected person can transmit to 8 to 10 people around him. Now, according to the CDC, internal document that it is as contagious as the chicken pox. For a CDC internal document that the Delta variant is as contagious as the chicken pox, we all know that chicken pox is airborne and can transmit up to 10 to 12 percent. The Delta variant, the virus of the Delta variant will linger in the air for 16 hours and we are all susceptible to infections. The viral load of Delta variant is 1,000 times higher from the original strain. That even the vaccinated can pass on the virus to others. Unlike the original strain, if you are vaccinated, you will less likely to be infected or pass the virus to others. Once the vaccinated individual contracted the Delta variant, they are just as like the unvaccinated to pass on the disease to others. According to Tom Fried, Friedem, that some vaccinated individual with breakthrough infection can pass the virus to others. As we have heard in the news and we have read in the internet that the Delta variant has led once again the surge of death rates and hospitalization. The bottom line was that in contrast with the other variants, even you, if you are vaccinated and didn't get ill or sick but got infected, you, you can still shed the same amount of virus as the unvaccinated. Most of the people who are critically ill now are the unvaccinated. So the vaccinated will also continue to protect themselves because they can infect others the same as the unvaccinated. So if somebody will get into your house, you have to open the windows for the good ventilation, especially when you are in the car, you have to wear masks and open a little bit of the window or open the window for a good ventilation. The expert says that it's, it is still effective to follow the he minimum health protocol on the washing of hands, wearing a mask, social distancing, and of course vaccination. And if you have the chance to get vaccinated, 
then do your part to save lives. Now, that's the end of my video. And if you like my video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so that you will be notified in my next video.